Welcome to my channel Dr. Munshi Nasser Skill Tour. How are you my dear learners? In this video we are going to talk about panel data analysis especially for dynamic panel data analysis its concept and the Stata code. So let's get started. Panel data model it's a very interesting model because it has a cross section and time series both the properties. There are two types of panel analysis one is the static model the other one is the dynamic model. In the case of static model, we have two branch called the fixed effect model and the other one is the random effect model. So what is fixed effect model? Fixed effect model usually the sample when the sample is fixed and it looks at the individual effect. Okay, it looks at the individual effect. For example, if you are looking at few countries and there are some fixed factors like population, their border of the countries, if these are not allowing in your macroeconomic modeling, just to look at the country's variation in terms of dependent variable, for instance, international trade, openness and all those variables, in that case, we will use a fixed effect model. As you see here, normally in the macroeconomic panel where we have a cross country analysis, we often use the fixed effect model. Normally, individual effect meaning that we do not vary the intercept. The intercept usually fix in the fixed effect model. On the other hand, the random effect model, it actually varies everything. And usually in the microeconomic model, for example, few farms, few banks, few organizations, when we talk about a large sample size of a homogeneous sample size, for instance, a, uh, a individual countries, industry, micro enterprises. So when we use such kind of modeling for regression run, we use the regression called the random effect model usually in the micro panel data we use the random effect model and in the large sample size now the question is how do i select which model is appropriate for us fixed effect or random effect model there is an interesting idea called the hussman test the hussman test usually we do to select which test is appropriate whether it is a fixed effect model or random effect model for our static panel model. Why we are seeing static? Because in a static model, we can often see that there is a cross country variation, but there is no time variation. So when there is a time variation, we often refers to dynamic model. Okay. In the static case, time is almost not variant with the model. For example, if we have a dependent variable, and the same dependent variable is using in the independent variable as well for the past values for example t minus 1 of the same dependent variable these are correlating or taking regressions with the dependent variable the current value or current time with the same dependent variable then in this case we often use the dynamic model in other cases we use the static model now looking at the dynamic model we have two different type or mainly three to four different type of models for instance in a large n which means large number of countries or large number of cross sections and small t in this case we use the gmm model generalized method of moments model and gmm and system gmm are quite popular to controlling the endogeneity problem when there is an endogenous problem or endogeneity problem presence in the model, we often use GMM or system GMM. Then we comes to the large T, which means large time series and a small number of N, which means small number of cross section. In here, large number of cross section. In here, small number of cross section and high degrees of freedom. If there is, if these three conditions met, then we use mg mean group or pool mean group model okay so these are the two types of model there is another way we can try to analyze the dynamic model called the dols and fmols fully modified ordinary least square usually in the non-parametric dynamic 
panel model, we use fully modified non-parametric, fully modified ordinary least least square. Or in the parametric case, we use dynamic ordinary least least square. Okay. And usually in the in the in these two models, when the co-integration at the level of two variables, then we can only use DOLS or FMOLS. Normally, co-integration at level, okay, it is required to apply these models. Now, how do we decide when to use dynamic and static model, right? Like you have a common model and you don't know whether you are using static or dynamic, which one is appropriate for your case. To run, to understand that, you need to run a serial correlation test. So it depends on the serial correlation test. Remember my dear learners, whether you use a static model or dynamic panel model, it depends on the serial correlation test. Okay. And GMMM, system GMM usually controls the endogeneity issue mostly in a panel model. Okay. Now my dear learners, how to analyze the panel dynamic models? The first thing that we have to do is find out the correlation between our dependent variable and the residual. As I said that the serial correlation test is very very important to find out whether we will apply the static or panel dynamic model. In the case of stata command for relationship finding out the relationship between dependent variable and the residuals we use xtreg dependent variable and independent variable. Here the independent variable we refer to the residual. So predict the fixed effect model in this case we say predict hat okay first you run xtreg usual model it's not a dynamic or panel just a regression then dependent variable and independent variable and a fixed effect model. Then the second command you will do predict y hat which means you are predicting some residuals okay so predict y hat the next one is predict residual okay so predict residuals and predict y hat y hat means predicted value of your dependent variable and the next one is predict residual which means the residual value so you have y hat and you have residual value right and these are the three stata commands to find out your y hat which is the predicted value of your independent variable and the residuals okay if there is a low correlation between dependent variable and your residual values which means these two has a low correlation then we can understand there is an absence of endogeneity there is an absence of endogeneity if there is a low correlation between predicted y hat and the residual. We don't need GMM in this case. GMM is only used for endogeneity problem. Okay. We can use for this case PMG, DOLS, MG, but not GMM because GMM or dynamic GMM model we only use when there is a presence of endogeneity. And the presence of endogeneity shows by looking at the high correlation between the dependent variable and the residual. Got it? Now there are many other way you can try dynamic and panel model, static panel regression model. First of all, to try to find out the endogeneity. Endogeneity causes may be the correlation between dependent variable and residual. That's what we said in the last slide. So check the autocorrelation to decide whether you will use a dynamic or static model. Now the command is xt serial in a stata command xt serial independent variable 1 and independent variable 2 output. Okay. So here independent variable meaning that your predicted y hat. Okay. And your residuals it may be like that or usually the xt serial you can use simple two independent variable, independent variable one, independent variable two and output. This is your stata command to find out whether there is autocorrelation or serial correlation, correlation presence in these two variable. It can be these two variable or it can be 
these two independent variable okay lastly my dear learners you need to understand that in the panel static model we use fixed effect and random effect model in strata there is a drop down menu fixed effect and random effect you can usually check those things okay so if we can open the strata in from my computer okay so you can easily find out what i am trying to say okay so let's assume that this is my strata 17 and if i go to statistics okay then you will find out the longitudinal data or panel data from here you can see that we have a linear panel data in there you can see that linear regression fixed effect random effect okay and then we have a dynamic panel data model we have arnaldo bond estimation which is gmm estimation and linear dynamic panel estimation here dols or fmols you can use okay so this is how you can run the regression in your computer using stata and you remember that my dear learners in the static model this is the case fixed effect random effect husband test to decide whether you choose fixed effect or random effect now if endogeneity presence in the dynamic case use gmm or system gmm okay system gmm if there is no endogeneity or low correlation between dependent variable and the residual you can use mg you can use pmg model if there is a co-integration between the variables for example the variables that you have selected they are co-integrated at level and it can be non it can be stationary at the first difference then you can use dols or fm OLS. F O M L M O L S. There is a first order condition is the co integration should present in the model and the co integration will be at level. Okay. And of course, you need to remember that the co integration at level and it can be stationary at first difference. If these three conditions fulfill, then only you can use the fully modified ordinary least square. For DOLS, there is no such condition called the first order or level co-integration or at first difference, the variables will be stationary. There is no such conditions. If there is no such conditions, but still there is a co-integration, maybe it's not level, it may be second order co-integration and it may be first difference, it may not be the first difference, it may be second difference when the variables become stationary. In that case, you can use the dynamic OLS model. This is more or less parametric and this is the case of fully modified linear ordinary least square in the case of non-parametric. I would suggest that for these two model you have to use and it is easier to use e-views. e-views okay it is easier to use e-views. For GMM and system GMM if there, there is a presence endogeneity use stata okay. For a static model fixed effect and random effect you can use stata as well so this is the concept of static panel and dynamic panel model the concept and few stata commands i hope this video is useful for you i will see you in the next tutorial bye bye